So I'm a huge fan of True Wireless Earbuds, massively convenient and portable way of blocking out the world when you're out there amongst the general public. And in 2022, you're spoiled for choice as well, especially if you're looking for premium True Wireless Earbuds with all those super smart noise cancelling shenanigans and of course, top draw audio quality. And these are two of my favourite True Wireless Earbuds right now that you might not have actually heard of. You've got the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3s, which will cost you 219 quid, and also the Technics AZ60, which will cost you 199 quid. So they certainly ain't cheap, but how do they compare to the Sony XM4s, the Bose Quiet Comforts, and other best True Wireless earbuds in 2022? Well, I've been testing them both out, so here's my full in depth review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do post subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Let's start with the design and thankfully the Sennheiser and the Technics both sport a bullet style design. You don't get any of those weird AirPod style stems that dangle down from your ears and basically look like someone's just shot their load right into your lug hole. That said, they aren't exactly super compact, either of these true wireless earbuds. They are definitely on the bulky side. Got the Sennheisers in here on my left. I've got the Technics on my right. And as you can see, they do jut out quite a significant distance from my head. I'd say the Technics are a bit worse though with both of those in. Kind of looks like somebody's jammed a rod through your entire skull. The good news is that both sets of True Wireless earbuds do come with several different sizes of the silicon ear tip bit that actually gets lodged inside of your lug hole. So I didn't struggle to find a fit that worked for me. However, with the Sennheisers, you also get a little rubbery wing tip type thing as well, which just helps to keep the bud lodged in there, which is particularly good if you're gonna be wearing them when you're walking out and about. If you're gonna be jogging or down the gym, that's pretty much essential to help keep them lodged in there. On the other hand, with the Technics, I found that that fit wasn't quite as secure. So if I was moving at pace, uh, then definitely they tended to sort of shift around a bit and I had to fiddle with them, put them back into place again. Good news if you live here in Blighty though, or somewhere else where it pisses it down quite regularly because both of these True Wireless earbuds are IPX4 splash resistant. So don't go, you know, actually submerging them in water. That'll bugger them right up, but they're absolutely fine if they do get a bit of a drenching from above. And further good news, both the Sennheiser and the Technics Buds have their own app support as well. This is the Sennheiser Effort Smart Control. It's pretty feature packed, allows you to check on the battery life remaining of your buds. You can also check uh, available connections. You've got an equalizer you can play around with if you want as well. Quite a basic effort, but does the job. You've got bass boost and podcast modes as well. You can actually check the customized audio output and there is an access to the transparency mode via the app as well, which basically just allows you to hear everything that's going on around you. And a pretty cool and pretty unique feature as well is the Sound Zones tool. This allows the True Wireless earbuds to change up the audio output depending on your current location using your phone's GPS. So you can have transparency mode on at work full time, for instance, so you can hear if any of your colleagues decide to pester you, potentially the same at home. And then anytime you're outside of those two bubbles, you can have noise cancellation on full. And last up, something I always love to see is the ability to customize the built-in touch controls. As you can see there, you can assign functionality to a single tap, a double tap, a triple tap, or a press and hold of the outside surface. However, for some annoying reason, it wouldn't let me assign the volume up and the volume down functionality to the triple tap, which is my own preferred setup. It's quite annoying. For the Technics AZ60 True Wireless Audio Buds, you're using the Audio Connect app, and it's not quite as pretty, and it doesn't feature that funky sound zone at all, but apart from that, I think it is better overall. For one, you can check the actual battery life of both of your buds individually. There's some pretty good features in there, including the Find My Headphones feature. Uh, you've once again got equalizers that you can play around with in order to boost the bass, for instance, or the treble or whatever you fancy. And you've once again got control over the ambient sound or transparency mode, basically. But you can also see exactly how full on you want the noise cancellation to be. So you can max it out when you're in a really noisy area. Otherwise, minimize it if you're in somewhere a bit more quiet, like a cafe. And there's plenty more customization to be done within the settings as well, including customizing those touch controls, which this time actually allow me to assign the volume up and volume down to that triple tap. Hooray! You could also set up your preferred voice assistant and all sorts on here. Now, I've got to say, no problems whatsoever with the touch controls on either of these two wireless earbuds. Basically, just tap that flat surface and thy will be done. You even get audio feedback with each of the taps as well, so you know that they've registered, which is particularly handy for like the triple taps. And also no complaints when it comes to the Bluetooth connectivity either. I found that it was flawless performance from both of these after the most recent firmware updates, that is. At the beginning, both of them were a little bit shonky at times. 
And if you find yourself often connecting to more than one device uh, with your Bluetooth Buds, so for instance, your smartphone as well as your laptop, then you might be more tempted by the Technics because they can actually connect to two devices simultaneously using Bluetooth 5.2, whereas in the case of the Sennheisers, you'll have to disconnect from a device to connect to another one. And with both of these pairs of true wireless earbuds, each bud will work independently of the other as well. You don't have to have both of them lodged in your skull at the same time. So you can just have one bud in, other ear free to hear what is going on, no worries. Otherwise, as I mentioned before, they do both support a form of transparency mode as well, where the external microphones pipe in all of the stuff that's going on all around you. So you can stay aware of your surroundings while also listening to a podcast or something a bit quiet. And when it comes to the actual sound quality, I've got to say things are pretty close between the Sennheisers and the Technics. The Sennheisers rock a pair of 7mm drivers. You've got support for Aptex HD and other main codecs. They offer up clear directional sound and serious depth, whatever kind of genre you're into. Not the strongest bass in the world, I've got to say, even if you do have that bass boost feature active. So if bass is your kind of thing, then you might want to try something a bit different. Although to be fair, true wireless earbuds in general don't exactly excel in that area. And in fact, I would say actually just leave the bass boost feature well alone because it just tends to muddy the rest of the sound here on these Sennheiser Buds. With the Technics, those drivers are upgraded to 8mm efforts, but you've got no aptX support here, unfortunately, just support for LDAC. So good news if your phone supports LDAC, not so good news if it doesn't. Again, not exactly the best around for bass, but the bass boost feature here does actually help out a little, unlike on the Sennies. I mean, certainly don't make things worse, that's for sure. But I've got to say, overall, for that audio quality, I did prefer the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless. It just Everything just sounded a little bit more complex, a little bit more smooth. It's just really rich, full-bodied audio. Sorry, I suck at describing uh, audio and sounds, which is obviously why I'm perfectly well suited to a True Wireless Earbuds review. And yes, you do have very good active noise cancellation with both of these buds as well. Not quite the absolute best as far as True Wireless Earbuds go. The likes of the Sony XM4s, for instance, definitely right at the top of the pile. But if you are going to be traveling about the place, then either of them will definitely be up to the job. They're really good at cutting down the drawn of traffic and other annoying noises, even the likes of the tube. For instance, they will really cut down on all of that clamor. So you can actually hear a podcast or an audio book or whatever without having to jack the volume all the way up. I did, however, suffer from some minor wind interference here on the Sennheiser. So if you are moving at pace or it's a bit blustery, you will get a little bit of feedback. Whereas in the case of the Technics, uh, absolutely no issues with that whatsoever. And because you've got the active noise cancellation and all this other smart shenanigans going on, you've got three mics in total on each of the Sennheiser buds. You've got four mics on each of the Technics buds. And both were certainly up to the job when I wanted to make a call out in a busy, noisy environment. And just so you can hear the sound quality at home, here's a couple of sound recordings that I captured with both the Sennheisers and the Technics. Okay, so first up, here's a recording captured using the Technics AZ60, just in a quiet room right now, but we're going to start up some lovely construction sounds, everyone's favourite. Lots of drilling and pounding and banging going on now, so hopefully, as you can hear, a little bit of distortion, unfortunately, but my voice still coming through reasonably clear. And now a new voice sample recorded with the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless earbuds number three, and again in a quiet room right now, but let's start up those delightful sounds once again. There we go, yet again, lots more drilling and nasty shenanigans, and hopefully you can still hear me absolutely fine over all of that. Now, no significant difference when it comes to the battery life either, but the Sennheisers and the Technics can survive for around six to seven hours when they're out of the case and lodged in your ears. That is with constant audio playback, although I did find that the Technics, if you do have that LDAC feature active, that does tend to drain the battery a bit faster. And if you've got the active noise cancellation going non-stop, then again, you can knock about an hour or two off that total. And then when they are completely drained, you can just slap them back into the case and they will fast charge once they are placed back in the case as well. So if you find that they're fully drained before you're about to head off on the commute, for instance, just chuck them in here for 10 minutes and that'll have you good for about an hour of use. However, while the Sennheisers are recharged three full times by this rather funky, felty case, unfortunately the Technics, it's more like two and a half times, so not quite as good. Also, the Technics case only supports charging via Type-C USB. In the case of the Sennheisers, you can again charge via Type-C, or they also support wireless charging, which is particularly handy if your phone supports reverse wireless charging. Just slap them on the back of your phone, you can power them up on the go. And I gotta say, even though it's the bulkier of the two cases, I do prefer the Sennheiser effort with this lovely felt finish. It is the more premium of the two, although it is slightly confusing that the USB port is around the front and not the back. I keep trying to open it this way and obviously that's not gonna work. 
So you have it that in a nutshell is the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3 and also the Technics EZ60. I said that really slow because I almost forgot the name of it but I think we got there in the end. They are two very good pairs of True Wireless earbuds if you want an alternative to the Sony's, the Bose's, the Apple's of this world. Got to say, of the two, even though I prefer the noise cancellation on the Technics ever so slightly because you do get some wind feedback here on the Sennheisers, I am leaning towards the Momentums overall because you've got the lovely case which supports the wireless charger, you've got slightly better battery life and the audio quality for me is just that little bit better thanks to the good old Aptex support. Anyhow, it'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a bloody lovely rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.